Hi, I'm Michael Romick, and we are going to be talking about the 10 things you should know about working out. Number one, you can control the intensity of each workout with your own effort. If something hurts or your heart rate is too high, it's okay to lower the intensity. Just because you are working out hard does not mean you are training smart. Number two, pain increases cortisol and cortisol increases body fat. There's no benefit to working out in pain. Avoid the painful patterns and train the non-painful patterns. You've heard the saying, no pain, no gain. You need to be able to differentiate, though, what is pain and what is actually muscle fatigue. Number three, soreness is okay, but it is not an indicator of a good workout. Just because you're not sore does not mean you didn't train smart. We want to make sure that you train safely and effectively. So many people start an exer exercise program and they injure themselves within the first month because they do not know how to train smart. Number four, stacking fitness on, on top of dysfunction will only lead to injury or plateau. The FMS, which stands for Functional Movement Screening, uh, was originally designed to help overcome dysfunctions and work on cleaning up your weakest links. The FMS was originally designed for professional athletes, and now most of the fitness organizations use this biomechanical screening process because it's been scientifically proven to be the most effective. Number five, overtraining is a major contributor to a lack of results in people quitting. If you work out more than three times a week, it's highly recommended to take a week off about every three months. Number six, lifting weights will not make women bulky. It will make you strong and lean. Not lifting weights will make you frail and skinny fat. A lot of women have the misconception that if they lift weights, they're going to get big and bulky. According to the American Council of Sports Medicine, the average person can actually gain three three to five pounds of adequate lean muscle tissue every six months. With our metabolic resistance training program, the average person can gain about five to ten pounds of adequate lean muscle tissue every month. And this is important because this helps increase your basal metabolic rate and as a result you're able to burn more calories throughout the day and be able to lose body fat faster. Number seven, you get much better results from doing a less challenging exercise in good form than you will from a more challenging progression in bad form. Form before intensity. I like this example of a push-up because a majority of people that do a push-up are doing it incorrectly. Instead of activating the pectoralis major or the chest muscles, they're activating all of the wrong muscle groups and because they're not able to stabilize through the shoulder girdle. Number eight, if your goal is fat loss, it's important to know that you typically can't out-train a bad diet. You have to eat clean in order to be lean. It's really that simple. Number nine, recovery is just as important as the workout. A good, a good post-workout meal, seven to eight hours of adequate sleep, and being able to manage stress accordingly and proper uh, tissue quality work are essential to a well-balanced program. And number 10, core training is key to laying down a solid foundation. It all starts with core training. If you are not able to activate the intrinsic muscles in your core, you will never be able to do some of the more functional or dynamic exercises correctly. These are the top 10 things you should, you should know about working out.